The other system we're watching newly formed this afternoon, Tropical Depression 7 moving west at 21 miles an hour, about 540 miles now east of the Leeward Islands because it's moving so fast and expected to strengthen. Tropical storm warnings now for the northern Leeward Islands there. Tropical storm watch for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Here's the future track on this system forecast to become tropical storm Grace moving west in a track very similar to what we saw with Fred here. So maybe is there land interaction again? That would be in the Sunday and Monday time frames for Puerto Rico and Hispaniola. And then here is the five day position there just off of our coast. But what it looks like at that point, it's hard to say because it is dealing with some Saharan dust out here. We talked about Saharan dust. It's a good thing. It inhibits tropical development. It uh, is disruptive for tropical systems, and it's already out here. And a pretty good surge is forecast to kind of come across the Atlantic there and may get entangled into what would at this time be Tropical Storm Grace. We'll have to see, but just like Fred, there are lots of things going against significant development with Tropical Depression number seven. So this is the way we look tonight. Fred may restrengthen, but it's not going to impact us. The main impacts for us are still going to be flooding, although that threat is going down a little bit. The worst weather is going to be Saturday and Saturday night, but it's going to start picking up here late tonight and Tropical Depression seven. Too early to tell the exact impacts here in South Florida. I'll have a complete look at the weekend forecast in detail coming up.